Hi, I hope that you will find this video interesting. I have decided to talk about what I would do if I had a nursery of my own and I was selling orchids on to other orchid collectors in and around Europe. Pretty much that is where I live. And I decided to do this on a good day when I'm in a good mood and nothing has gone wrong because a rant can always come out worse, <laughs> for lack of a better word, or more aggressive, for lack of a better word, than if you had a good day. So I'm going to do this little video regarding what I would like to do if I ever had the pleasure of owning a nursery and shipping my orchids to you. And I wonder if any nurseries around Europe will see this video and go, hmm, maybe we can apply that point or we can do that part. So my first thing is regarding nurseries and what they do is when they oversize the pot that the orchid in question is being listed on the web page. Oversized pots, more money, you think you're getting a larger plant, and it comes and it is not what it was meant to be according to pot size. Yeah, that annoys me. So the solution that, to that would just be simple. Just be honest about it. Save yourself some money. Whatever media you're throwing into the oversized pot, that's a cost factor. Why bother? Save yourself the money, be honest, and sell the orchid at the size that it is supposed to be, not by what the size of the pot is. My first suggestion would be just that. The next thing would be about shipping. If I had a nursery and I were to ship my orchids, I would consider them not just a commodity. They are precious, they are living beings, and I would respect them as such. And it wouldn't be just because I'm not shipping just because it's cold and why I don't want my orchids to die on their way to you. I would be shipping them in such a way that they arrive in such good condition that they are going to live and do well for you and survive. Giving them and you the best start in growing the orchids that you have just received. Packing an orchid as if it's some kind of deli meat from some kind of a deli store. Well, maybe that meat is packed up nicer than an orchid would be. But just throwing it in a box, wrapped in newspaper, media flying all over the place, hoping for the best, that is just not going to fly. Not in my nursery. There would be protocol, there would be things, especially with the cost of shipping this day and age. And nurseries normally get a great deal with regards to the companies that they ship with. They get sort of a flat rate or something like that. So making money on shipping for me is something I find for a nursery unacceptable for one. And secondly, if you're going to charge those prices, the orchid has to arrive in pristine condition. So if I had a nursery, I would put a lot, a lot of effort and time to have a protocol regarding how my orchids are packed and how they will be received at the client's door. I would guarantee accountability if an orchid that I send to you is mislabeled. If I had a nursery selling orchids, variety of species, I would have a guarantee that in three years, four years, if a seedling blooms and it is not what you ordered, that you would be able to get back to me. Granted, of course, keep the invoice, keep a record of what you bought and get back to me when your orchid blooms out and it is not what you ordered. I'm not sure and can't guarantee that I can make it right afterwards. That's a bit difficult because maybe the cross isn't around, the species is sold out, difficult to find, but I would make it right, be it with a refund or ask if you would like a replacement of another orchid. I would not put a time frame on anything. I would not tell you, for example, you can't repot the orchid for the next six to eight months because if you do, then your refund is null and void or you can't, the return policy is canceled. That is ridiculous because we all know that sometimes we get media that is off. It's not fit for purpose. It's not right for the environment that the orchid is now in. I'm not going to tell you not to touch your orchid. I find that refund policies, there's no quality control for nurseries and I would change that. 
Send me a picture of the orchid as it was when it arrived. I will keep a database of all my clients. Send me a picture of what you've done when you've repotted it. And if anything happens to go wrong, we can troubleshoot together. There will be no blaming. There will be no crickets in the background. Things will be addressed. Send me a picture even while you are repotting. That is what I would do if I had a nursery. It is only on a voluntary basis, of course. I'm not gonna force everybody to do that, but in order to keep a record and make things right and be able to troubleshoot before it becomes a big issue, that is what I would do. It would be clear as bell on my webpage. It would be part of my marketing, my selling points, and all of that. I find it is absolutely not something that is so hard to do, given all the correspondence that is happening anyway, to allocate one person, a student, or somebody to sit at a computer and just be there for customer relations on a customer relation basis. Not for the repottings, not for anything else to do in the nursery. Maybe three, four hours a day, maybe just on the weekend, I would employ somebody just for that, in my nursery, that is. Selling divisions, potting them up and pretending that they're established orchids drives me nuts. Would not happen in my nursery. You would know that it is a recent division. You would know when the division was made. You would know the status of the orchid at its current point. And if you're still in doubt, you would get pictures. It's not like I'm going to put a website up with all kinds of pictures which need to be updated after four weeks because the orchid started to grow a nubbin or some roots. But at that point in time, to in any way, shape or form, get out of the doubt about buying a division. If you want a picture, there would be a picture in the mail and say, this is what it currently looks like. And it would be identifiable so that there is no swapping, switching or whatever. It would hold back my business a little bit because until a client gets back to you, not everybody responds within 24 hours, but there would be a time limit in the email. Please get back to me within 48 hours if you are interested to proceed with this purchase. Simple. There is no way in general as a message that I'm saying if I had a nursery that any sick orchid would also leave my premises. They would be free of bugs. They would be treated prior and not just with an overall systemic insecticide, but inspected. A spray of hydrogen peroxide here and there into the pot and into the media prior to packing one day before to make sure that if there are any slugs in there, at least during the traveling, the slugs are not going to perpetuate themselves. The orchids would also be shipped according to what their needs are. Never wrapped in plastic. If the sphagnum moss is wet, you would get an email from me to say the orchid is a little bit too wet for my liking to ship it. Especially if you know the destination of the customer, I would definitely say it is still a bit too cold at your end. I would like this orchid to dry out. For that reason, your shipment is delayed for another seven days. An example, just, you know, communication with the customer. This is what's happening with your order. This is the reason why it's not being shipped immediately. And let them know. I would do that. Even when I ship my own divisions, I want to make sure that they are in good condition. Yes, it's not a business for me. But when you have a business, it's even more important, in my opinion, to take care of your merchandise, especially if it's living things, and respect it as such. Respect the customer who is buying orchids not necessarily a newbie, which you can pretty much tell in some orders when a species goes out, okay, this person is ordering this, they must know what they're doing. And then you send them what? That wouldn't happen in my nursery. If for example, as well, there's another thing, if you have a fungus or something that you find after a year, I can pretty much say that if I get a picture straight away in that says this was an orchid that came from your collection, we have the documentation and the records to, to know the trail and the source. I can tell if a fungus is recent within four weeks or is actually 12 months old or 24 months old, should that be the case. I'm so bold at that point to say, no, sir, that is recent. And then I recommend you do this, 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 this with regards to how you can treat your orchid. If you would like, we can help you out with XYZ product, and that would be a courtesy shipment. The emphasis being here on the health of the orchid. The customer is gonna be satisfied, is secondary, and it is a bonus 
But if the orchid is struggling and you have a problem, there will always, always be somebody in my nursery to address that, to help you and troubleshoot. If it turns out that the orchid already arrived virus and then within a year there is a problem, I would say I can pretty much say whether the virus was in the orchid when it left and how it has developed over a year, especially when it comes to Fusarium, you can tell if it's a fresh Fusarium or if it's established Fusarium. And then I would hold myself accountable. I would take responsibility. And if there's no saving the orchid, once again, if there is no replacing the orchid, because it just so happens I don't have it in stock, then I would find a way to make it right, somehow. I am quite sick and tired of how the rest of the world is so, so focused on customer service to the point that actually some customers will abuse customer service when there really isn't any need. So yes, record keeping and keeping track of who gets what when is important and how I would go about doing that is giving courtesy correspondence regarding how are your orchids doing. Let's say I have this gorgeous tortilla en masse in my nursery. And then I've shipped 10, 15 over the past years, even in the last six weeks. It doesn't matter the time frame. that's not the point. I have a record of who bought what. I will keep that database going. And every six months, there is going to be, how is your tortilla doing? And if it is one order that got shipped, that order will be addressed every six months. Is there anything we can do to help you? And by doing that, there is a quality control that if something goes wrong with the orchid, I've covered my back. I have contacted you one month within you receiving the orchids. How are they settling in? Have you got any questions? Have you got any concerns? Let me know. I have contacted you six months into receiving the order. And I keep records and track of that. So if after a year or two years, there is a complaint about X, Y, Z, I have a complete track record of the history of the orchid since it left my nursery. And that is not to point the finger. That is just to cover my back. And that is just to ensure that I can assess what is going on if the customer comes back to me and says, look at my orchid now, what are you gonna do about it? And to cover my back regarding how people are very, very quick to abuse what they interpret as customer service. And I believe that would work. It would take time, and again, it would take one person, in my opinion, four hours a day, just to keep records, keep in touch with the customer, ask them how they're doing, look around our nursery, see what's in bloom, run double checks with regards to what's been sent in the recent years. If it's in bloom in our nursery, get in touch with the customer and say, hi, our tortillas are blooming here in the nursery. How is yours doing? I bet that would work, and I would love it because nobody does that. And it annoys me to no end. I guess I am a little bit too passionate sometimes about the orchid hobby that I don't understand that people that run it as a business, you know, don't have the same regard or the respect. All right, let's take that out of the equation and then just say, if it is a commodity and all you're trying to do is get it in, sell it fast, respect the customer. Don't insult the intelligence of the customer. If somebody buys 15 complex Phalaenopsis hybrids, then you pretty much know they're starting a collection and they're probably beginners, unless they have a little flower shop, by which time you would know anyway. But if somebody comes and buys, let's say, Rapiculus Lelias or something really, let's say, tricky, uh, Dendrobium Victoria Regina, you name it, especially when we're shipping all over Europe or the United States, and there's different climates, different zones, different hardiness of orchids, different humidity environments, etc. I would definitely respect the customer and say, let me know if you have any trouble on the arrival of the orchid, but I would additionally then follow up after a month and say, how is it going? Is there anything we can help you with? But these are the things that in my head do not take up much resources, but long-term, are money savers. It is an investment in order to guarantee customer satisfaction, not get taken for a ride as a business by the interpretation of customer satisfaction, and in return, respecting also the commodity that is being sold. Such a shame that I don't have the funds. <laughs> Ninjaorchids.eu
Uh huh. And then the first page would just be fireworks and confetti. Hello, you've arrived at my shop. And this is how we operate here. Now, go shopping and see how it works. <laughs> I would love it. Like I said, I don't want to bore you, but I'm having a really good day. And this has been something that I've been mulling over for a long time. Every time I had issues with my orchids and I was like, why is this happening? Who is the professional here? Who's the customer here? It's like, I am doing them a favor, buying their orchids and I get this. And it sounds much better on a day where it's a good day as opposed to getting something in the mail and it is frustrating. And then the voice changes and the whole attitude changes and nobody's gonna hear you when you shout. <laughs> Golden rule. So if, hey, if you have any suggestions regarding this subject, what you as a customer have also experienced and how you would turn it around if it was your business, please let me know in the comments below. I didn't know how else to present this video, a little bit chitty chatty, but I really wanted to do this, but I had to wait for a good day because it is sometimes also the sound of the voice, the message could be lost. <laughs> and this ant is coming off my door. Go on, get off. I don't, yeah, the ants these days have really got my goat tea, my goat tea. No, kidding. Thank you everybody so very, very much for watching. If you've made it this far, I appreciate it. I got that off my chest. There might be an, if I had a nursery 2.0 coming, if I can think of more things that frustrate me and how I would turn things around. But for the meantime, have yourselves a wonderful day and thank you so very, very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care and stay safe. Bye.